Man, I was just <laughs> glad you know I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes, too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. And the ring dang do. Now, what, what is that? that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. And that's what you call the ring dang do. <laughs> took me down to her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine show. Let me wine <laughs> Wish and whiskey too. Let, Let me ride on the ring, ring dang do. do. The ring dang do. Now, now what, what is that? that? It's soft and round like, like a pussy cat. cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's, that's what you call the ring dang do. Yee-hoo! Her father come in angrily said, Now you have lost your maiden head. Pack your bag and coat packs too. Make, Make your living, living off the ring that I do. The ring that I do. Now what is that? It's all sitting around like a pussy cat. cat. Got, got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's, that's what you call the ring that I do. do. <laughs> she yeah. went off to be a whore. Hey, <laughs> this sign upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Take your crack and the ring that I do. The ring that I do. Now what is that? It's all sitting around like a pussy cat. You're a dirty man. Yes. Good to see you smiling, Dutch. We finally have something to smile about. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> If I sit a minute. Mm. All right. I'm out, folks. Oh, my lord above. <coughs> I am not made for land. <laughs> it's too many. Too many angles. Yeah. Me? I like a flat horizon. Wide and clear, and little waves taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard. Thick mud, railways. Filthy towns of any other hells we've encountered. Black water! <laughs> Never was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm hmm. Black water? Okay, you can keep that. <laughs> so what blue happened water. to Trelawney? Fire water. Disappeared, as usual. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land ain't natural at all. <sighs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously. It's a good one, and it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly, our boat erupted into flames. 
Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses, uh, rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river white as a cloud <laughs> so they made me a god <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter either that or sacrifice me to another god <laughs> When I said, I'm not the marrying kind, <sighs> they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle, <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <laughs> 